Are your illustrations looking a little something like this? Well, if so, don't worry. I've got a ton of tips in this tutorial to get your illustrations looking right. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, let's jump into this illustration tutorial. So what we wanna do first is we wanna get the base of the ornament made. And what we're gonna to do to do that is we're gonna use an ellipse or a circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my left toolbar over here and I'm gonna select the circle or ellipse. Uh, we don't wanna use any of the other shapes because that's not what we're doing right now. So once I have that selected, I'm going to drag it out with my pencil. Now, if I don't hold this little button right here, you see I can get all kinds of different shapes with that ellipse but I want it to be symmetrical. So I'm gonna hold that little button right here and I'm gonna release. And so now we got the base. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select this, this little tool right here that has the three lines. What this is gonna do is it's gonna change the width of the stroke. So we wanna make that stroke a lot thicker just cause it's gonna make the design look better. All right. So I'm gonna grab this, move it a little bit. I'll probably have it in the center and all right there we go so what i want to do next is i want to get the cap of the ornament made so i'm going to go back to the shape tool over here and i'm going to click the rectangle and we're going to do what we just did with the ellipse but we're going to do it with this square now so just drag and i actually don't want to hold the circle down here because i want it to be more of a rectangle not a square once i got it where i want it i can release and i want to click, select my select tool I'm gonna place it right there and so far so good, okay? Now I think this would benefit if I had rounded corners up top, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool, highlight the two top points right here, and that'll give me this little bezier anchor right here and I can just pull that and that'll give me a nice rounded corner and that'll just help the overall look. Cool, so as you see, we already got the base of what we wanna do. Uh, I think I want to add some color because I'm tired of looking at black and white. So let's go and let, maybe let's make it red. Don't worry, we can definitely change this in the future. You don't have to be 100% committed. Uh, red looks good for now, so I will keep that. And then I think I want to make this some kind of gold, maybe silver. Yeah, I think silver is going to sound good. So I'm just going to I'm going to get this color where I want it. Hmm. Actually, I changed my mind. I do want to go gold. That looks good to me. All right, cool. So we're getting there. What I want to do next is I want to add a little band around the uh, the ball of the ornament. So I'm going to grab, grab the rectangle tool again. And we're going to go like this. That looks good to me. So what I want to do is I want to make sure it's in the middle. And that looks like it is. That little purple line right there indicates that that is in the middle. I'm going to let go. I'm going to grab both of these. And I'm going to go to my shape builder. So if you click on this little button right here, the combined shapes, it'll give me a shape builder uh, button right here. And what's cool about this is I can just click there, draw there, and boom. That'll uh, magically cut that shape for me. And uh, now I got a little band around my ornament. So I think I wanna make this band white. That looks good to me. So now I'm gonna grab everything. I think I'm gonna shrink it just a tad just because I don't know where I want to put it. But that's looking good. Okay, so this is actually not the kind of band I want, so I'm gonna delete this. And that's okay, sometimes you don't exactly know what you want to do. That's the fun part about vectors is they're free. You can just keep making them and deleting them until you get what you like. So what I want to do is, I want to do three like this. Make them a little smaller. And I want to make sure they're evenly distributed. So I'm going to make sure they're aligned and then evenly distribute. That shifts that down a little bit. And that way I can make sure it's symmetrical. So I'm going to grab each three. And I'm going to group it. This little button right here. Group. And now I can rotate. And I think I want to do 45 degree angle. Make it a little bit smaller. And 45 is probably a little too much. So I think I want to do like that. Maybe a little smaller. All right, that's looking good to me. I'm going to grab all that, go back to the Shape Builder tool. And like we did before, I'm just going to cut these little pieces. And 
And there we go. All right, that's looking good. And actually, I'm going to throw this in the background. I think that'll help a little bit. Nice. Okay. So what I want to do next is add a little hoop at the top. So I'm going to grab my ellipse tool. I want to have a transparent fill. And we're just going to put it back there, and I'm going to throw it behind. And now we got a little hoop at the top. All right, so now we got the ornament pretty much in a good spot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to duplicate it one more time. What we're going to do here is do shadows and highlights. And this is just a quick way to achieve that look. So I want this over here. Grab those. And it gives us a little preview right here. I want to do minus front and then convert to path. I don't need a stroke on this, but I do want, let's see, I don't want a stroke, but I do want this to be completely black. And I'm gonna throw it over here, make sure it's on top. So we're gonna go to our stacking order, drag that on top, and then drag the opacity way down. All right, so that's an easy way to get a good looking shadow right there. So what we're gonna do for the highlight is something similar. I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool again, hold it like that, and I'm gonna turn this white. Actually, maybe like a yellowish. And what I'm gonna do is just drop that opacity again. And this just looks like we've got some light shining off of it. I don't like that color though. Maybe drop the opacity a little more. And we're gonna do the same thing up here. We're gonna add a little shadow on the right hand side. So minus front, convert to path, swap those, turn that off, turn the stroke off, lower that opacity. And now I'm gonna add a little highlight right here. Cool, so this is starting to look good. So what I want to do next is I'm going to add a little rope. This is what the ornament's hanging from. That looks good. So now I'm going to, actually I'm going to add a background just because I'm tired of looking at a whole white canvas. Make that maybe green. That looks nice. And let's throw this in the background. Also too, I, I usually use layers, guys. But for this piece, I just really don't want to because it's not very complicated. But if we were doing a more complicated piece, we would definitely add some more layers. So since this is in a good spot, I'm going to lock it because I don't want to be fooling with the background too much. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to duplicate. So now that I duplicate, I am actually going to put this on its own layer. So now we have a new layer. I'm going to paste that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make another ornament. So I don't want this in here. So we're going to delete because we want them to look unique. I think I want this to be like a darker green. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I think that looks really cool because we're on a green background. So this we're gonna turn into white. Make sure it's selected. And I'm gonna raise that opacity a good bit. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. And now we're just gonna do it again. New layer, paste. going to delete these. We want them all to look unique. I think I want to do blue on this one. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's soften that up. That's a nice blue. I like that. Okay. Again, we're going to make this white. Raise that opacity. Very nice. And I think for this one, I might want to do some kind of 
uh, swirls or something. Let's see. So I'm going to grab the pencil tool and let's go to our properties. I want to make it dotted because I think that'll look cool. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's pretty cool. But I don't want there to be a fill. So I'm going to turn that off. And that looks pretty cool. So let's see what we can do with that. I think that looks pretty cool. So I can actually edit it a little bit more. Let's go back to the properties. I can go to the width profile, which is pretty cool, but I don't want to do any of that. So I'll keep that alone and I can actually adjust the size of this. I can add how many dashes I want and the gap in between. So that's pretty cool. So these are looking pretty cool. What I want to do next is I'm going to add some accent lines. Actually, I'm going to group all these first. So just group. Before we do that, let's see what this looks like with no. Yeah, I actually like that a lot better without the stroke on the middle. So we're going to keep that and I'm going to group it. I'm going to group this one as well. All right, that's looking pretty cool. Maybe all three of these are lined up. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty nice. Put it in the middle. Cool. All right, now what I want to do is add some accent lines. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to have this to be black. And we're just going to draw it like that. We're going to go back over to the properties. And I want my width profile to be this one right here. And I'm going to increase that so that looks pretty good right there right i'm gonna rotate it a little bit and we're just gonna have some fun and add some of these little uh these little these little action lines Boom, there go. It's very so these right here don't need to be here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a rectangle Put it right there. I'm gonna select all of this and go to Shape Builder. And that'll just cut all of those off and then I can delete this rectangle. And there you go guys. Just like that, you can have three quick ornaments. You can go through and you can create your own custom ornaments so you can switch the piece up. Uh, but I hope this tutorial helped and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Well guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, which you made it to the end, so obviously you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up for me. And if you want to see content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see content like this now, you can just go back to my older videos. I have a ton of illustrations, logo designs, rebrands. Check it out. If you want to get a hold of me, I'll have my Discord link below. It's a great place for us to chat and just talk design. Well guys, I appreciate you being here, and until the next time, 